Hi, this is Gabe from FluentForever.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get your Anki decks onto your mobile device. I'll show you the process all the way from downloading a deck, in this case my French pronunciation trainer, to reviewing it on your smartphone. So first I'm going to open up Anki, uh, which is over here somewhere. There we go. Um, and I'll look over here and I'll see, okay, here are all the decks that I've been sort of building over the last few tutorials. Now, I just downloaded a French pronunciation trainer, and so I'm going to find that in my downloads folder. Um, on a Mac, if I double click this, it will decompress the file, and I'm going to see a folder that has all the stuff from the French pronunciation trainer in it. Um, this should work the same on most PCs. On some of them, they're going to say, hey, you need to open up WinZip to do this, uh, and it'll show you those files there, and you'll have to press like decompress or something, and then you'll see these four files. Um, but generally, you just have to double click it, and it'll open up this folder. Um, in this folder, I'll find a bunch of different files, a README that tells you what to do and how this works, um, a link to Anki to install it. I already have Anki installed, so I don't need to worry about that. And then a link to all the videos that go along with this trainer. Uh, and finally, the actual trainer itself. And so I'm going to open up this folder, and I will see an Anki deck. And as we talked about in some of the earlier tutorials, to install an Anki deck, all you have to do is double-click it. Just open it up, and it will open up an Anki. And so it says 614 cards imported. Uh, it shows me the 28 I have to do today, because it doles them out in sort of daily increments. And if I wanted to, I could click on this name of the deck and start reviewing. I'll see things like, you know, B as in bol, and if I press show answer, it will tell me if I'm right. B. Bol. And then I can decide, okay, am I going to click the good button? Do I know this? Or am I, am I going to click the again button? Because I wasn't quite so sure. Um, so this is relatively familiar. But now we want to get this onto our mobile devices. And so to do that, the button you need to know about is this circular button, the synchronize button up here. Uh, if you click it, you're going to see this. It's going to say you need an account, which is a free thing to get. Um, if you don't already have an account, which you probably don't, then press the sign up button and it will send you over to Anki Web, which is Anki's free synchronization service. Um, to get an account, all you have to do is press the sign up button. And so I'm going to do that here. I'll do example at example.co.uk. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to sign up. And then I'll confirm that again. And then I'm going to sign up under that. And at this point, AnkiWeb is going to create a completely new account for me separate from my computer account, and it's going to have one deck in it, the default deck, and it'll have no cards in that deck, and basically this is a tiny, basically empty thing. Uh, and so I need to make this not empty. I want to send all this good stuff over here to here. And so I will type in my account ID and my password and uh, go. And so this is going to start uploading, but first it's going to ask you this question. It's basically saying, in a whole bunch of words, that the stuff that's here is different from the stuff that's there. You can't have both, so pick which one you want. Uh, in this case, I want the stuff that's on my computer. I don't need this empty default deck, and so I want to upload everything that's on my computer to AnkiWeb. And so you're going to press this button, and it's going to send everything on your computer up to AnkiWeb. Now, if you're doing stuff like sending up a French pronunciation trainer, uh, these things are large. Uh, and so usually there's no problem, but it, it will take a while. Uh, and two, sometimes it will take multiple tries. Uh, so you may need to do it you know, two or three times because Anki servers can get overloaded. Uh, but generally, everything is going to get sent up over the course of a few minutes. And once it's there, we'll be able to review our decks online and basically any sort of media, on, on any smartphone, on any internet-connected computer. Uh, and so that's sort of the first step of this process. Um, we're going to take a break and let this upload, and then we'll come back once it's done. And we're back. So Anki has successfully uploaded everything up to AnkiWeb. And so if I go over to AnkiWeb and I reload this page, instead of seeing this default deck, I'm going to see all of my stuff, my Hungarian deck, my French deck, everything. And I can go directly to this website, AnkiWeb.net slash decks. Actually, just, just go to AnkiWeb.net. It's fine. Um, and I can actually review my flashcards with the sounds, with the pictures, with everything, 
uh, online from any device, from a smartphone, from a computer, anything. So this is already pretty good. Um, let me show you what this looks like. You hit study now and it will ask you, show you all your flashcards with the pictures. If you want to see, okay, what sound does this make? Buzz and ball. I know this makes a buzz sound. So let's see if I'm right. I check show answer and I can play those sounds. B. Ball. And I can decide, okay, do, did I get this? Uh, is it, did I get this wrong? Do I hit the soon button or did I get this right? And do I hit the good button? Um, one of the issues with Anki Web is that this these play buttons are relatively slow, uh, and so while it is a new feature that AnkiWeb really supports sound on, on smartphones and on computers, uh, I find this a little annoying. And so what I prefer instead um, are the native apps for Android devices and for iOS devices, which let you download the whole deck offline. So for one, you can study when you don't have internet connection, uh, and more importantly, they work a lot faster. Um, the Android app is free and works really very well. Um, the iOS app is not. It's not free. It does work well. <laughs> uh, and it's honestly fairly expensive. At least at the moment when I'm recording this video, it's 25 bucks. So that being said, it's a really high quality app. And I do recommend it wholeheartedly. But uh, I would recommend trying out Anki on your computer first, making sure that this is a good fit for you, and then investing 25 bucks if you want this on your iPhone. Um, so, let's get this working. On my phone, if it pops up right, it does, hooray. I have the Anki mobile app installed. There we go. Um, if I have this done, I'm going to hit the Anki button. And poof, I have a completely, you know, naked Anki app. There's nothing here, just like there was in Anki Web. I mean, remember that Anki Web started out with that default deck? Well, same thing here. What I need if I want to have this on my phone is I need to hit the synchronize button. So I'm going to tap that. And again, it's going to ask me for a login and password. And so I'm going to type in my login, uh, the one that I put into AnkiWeb. I'm going to type in my password. And it's going to ask me the exact same question I had before. In this case, it's saying, the stuff on your phone is different from the stuff over here. You can't have both. Which one do you want? And in this case, the stuff that's on AnkiWeb is the stuff I want. The stuff on my phone is just there's nothing, it's just a default deck. So I am going to download from AnkiWeb in this case. I want to transfer this stuff to my phone. And so I will hit download from AnkiWeb. And again, it's going to take some time to synchronize. Um, again, we'll take a little pause to let it download. Um, it may take multiple tries, although usually, at least in the last few times I've tried this, it really does download everything all at once. So let's take a quick break and we'll be right back. And now our upload is complete, and so we can basically study on our cell phones. So I can press French pronunciation trainer, and it will show me the exact same flashcards. And if I press anywhere, I can press anywhere on this screen, it's going to ask, uh, show me the backside. It'll tell me if I'm right. B is in ball. I think this is a B sound. B. Ball. I can press any of these play buttons to hear any of those sounds again. And as normal, I have my options of I can press the red button if I didn't get it, and I can press the green button if I did get it. And I can press this button if I really, really got it, and I don't want to hear it anymore. Uh, but generally, you're pressing the red and green buttons. Um, and in, then if I choose one, I'll choose the, the, the two-day one, the green one. It will show me another card. Let's say I've studied this, and I, I've studied this for my 30 seconds, and I want to uh, continue studying on my computer. Well, in this case, I'm going to press, I'm going to go back to the, the deck interface by pressing this back button up here. And I'm going to press the synchronize button uh, down on the bottom right. And it will send my changes up into AnkiWeb. And if I reload AnkiWeb, instead of uh, practicing buzz and ball, which I've already done, if I reload, I will notice that there are only 27 cards to study, because I've already done one. Um, on my computer, for instance, if I want these changes to go back to my computer, uh, then I'll press the Synchronize button up here again. And it will download these changes from AnkiWeb and keep everything up to date. The idea here is that I can study on my cell phone for 15 minutes, and then if I decide to study on another device later, on my laptop for instance, uh, if I do all the synchronization, I can pick up wherever I left off. But generally, personally, I, I like to just study on my cell phone. Uh, and then whenever I make new cards, I'll do them over on the computer. Cell phones are not great for making new cards. They're really great for studying, but new cards, you just can't have the sort of, I have six browser windows open and I'm dumping things from onto all my flashcards. Cell phones don't do that yet. Um, and so that is basically it in terms of getting Anki working across multiple devices.
I hope that clears some things up, and I will see you next time.